Joining us right now, Brian, is Dr. John Chassar, President and CEO of GBMC Healthcare System. Good morning, Dr. Chassar. Good morning, guys. Let me ask you, doctor, when it comes to the issue of Governor Hogan, and now that we're in phase three or stage three and we're reopening the state, how do you in the hospital, how does GBMC prepare for potential spikes, particularly heading into the fall? Well, uh, we've never let our guard down. Uh, We're grateful that the governor and his uh, team are keeping a close eye on this, but we are continuing what we've been doing since March. Our, Our staff is all masked. Our staff that are taking care of patients are using uh, face shields and uh, N95 masks. We're washing our hands, uh, and we're working with the community to make sure that the community doesn't let its guard down. We, we know that it has been difficult for most Americans, right, to, 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 to venture out and into the world since the lockdown. But I, I sense that it's getting better. How, how has that been in the hospital? Are people going back, especially for elective surgeries, and, you know, when they don't feel good, saying, you know, it's time for me to go back to the hospital? Have you seen an improvement in that? Yes, we have. So um, our emergency department volume is not yet back to where it was uh, before COVID-19, but we have seen it come back to within about 25% of uh, the typical. Our elective surgery is uh, almost back to what we were doing before the pandemic. I think the general public um, is doing the right thing. The rate of uh, positivity in the community is down. And I think people are now trusting us to do the right thing. We are testing everyone who is going to have an elective procedure for COVID-19 before we allow them to get the procedure. Uh, We haven't seen any transmission that we know of in the hospital. So I think generally uh, people are uh, regaining trust uh, in order to access health care. You're listening to the coronavirus, our fourth town hall special in partnership with Greater Baltimore Medical Center Healthcare. The president and CEO of GBMC Healthcare, Dr. John Chassar, is on board. And Dr. Chassar, you just recently had a public one-on-one discussion with Dr. Anthony Fauci, the head of infectious diseases at NIH. What what would you take away from your discussion with him, and particularly related to uh, the flu season and COVID-19 all coming together? I had a uh, wonderful conversation with Dr. Fauci. He's such a, uh, a humble guy, and he's accomplished so much. One of the fascinating things that Dr. Fauci pointed out to me was that in the Southern Hemisphere, and you know the Northern Hemisphere watches the, what happens in the Southern Hemisphere with regard to influenza, Dr. Fauci pointed out that in Africa and South America, who are just coming out of their winter seasons, they had almost no influenza. And this is good news for us. And if you think about it, and and Dr. Bailey did a great job, but these viruses are all respiratory tract viruses. Uh, We get it um, because generally we're breathing in the virus or we're touching our eyes with uh, the virus um, uh, on our hands. And the fact that social distancing, the wearing of masks, and hand hygiene has mitigated, it looks like, has mitigated the flu season in the Southern Hemisphere is great news for us because we can't be dealing with a a flu epidemic and COVID-19 surge at the same time uh, and have our health care system not uh, uh, start to get stressed. So... Uh, that that was a fascinating thing. And, and the other thing, uh, following up with Dr. Uh, Bailey and the uh, immunizing agents, Dr. Fauci was again suggesting that we will probably have one or more effective vaccines uh, early, probably in, in next year. And uh, going through the sequence of who will get the yeah. vaccine, uh, that was very helpful for us to hear. And lastly, his point that we're probably going to have it. We don't know yet, but the vaccines will probably be somewhere in the range of 75 to 80 percent effective. So as we're going through immunizing the entire population in the United States of America, 
it's going to take a while before we get to herd immunity and and to allow people to stop social distancing and stop wearing their masks. So just quickly on that, do you expect then that your employees will be the first to get the vaccine and you yourself, do you feel comfortable taking the vaccine? Well, I absolutely believe there's every indication, both from the CDC and uh, state health officials, is that the sequence of who gets the vaccine first will be people on the front lines. It'll be physicians and nurses caring for patients and those of us that are coming to the hospital every day. And I absolutely will get the vaccine. I just got my flu shot. Um, I'm a pediatrician. I've seen uh, people ravaged by infections that they no longer get because of immunization. So uh, I absolutely will be getting the uh, vaccine once the Food and Drug Administration has uh, completed their trials and to make sure that the vaccine is both safe and effective. Once they determine that, I'll be one of the first people in line. Well, Dr. John Chassar, President and CEO of GBMC Healthcare System, we here at WBAL News Radio 1090 and FM 101.5 really want to thank you for this partnership that we've enjoyed through these town hall specials. Yeah, great to have you on. And we are so grateful to you guys. Thank you, because we see it as part of our duty to educate the community. 